a 7.6 magnitude earthquake hit off eastern Papua New Guinea on Sunday, with locals reporting damage to buildings near the coastal town of Madang and further inland. The U.S. Geological Survey, which reported the quake, issued a tsunami warning, but subsequently said the threat has now passed. It did, however, note that there could still be minor sea level fluctuations in some coastal areas. Power outages and damage to buildings were reported in parts of Papua New Guinea, with shaking felt widely in the country from towns near the epicenter to the capital of Port Moresby, about 300 miles, 480 kilometers, away. Images and video of damage to a university in the eastern highland town of Garoka showed large cracks appearing in walls and window awnings falling during the quake. Locals in Ley and Madang, closest to the epicenter, told AFP the shaking was much more vigorous than previous quakes. The quake struck at a depth of 61 kilometers, 38 miles, about 67 kilometers from the town of Kanantu, the USGS said. Papua New Guinea sits on the Pacific Ring of Fire, causing it to experience frequent earthquakes. A powerful earthquake that hit northeast Japan left at least two people dead and 160 injured, officials said, but caused relatively minor damage. Two million homes initially lost power, and a bullet train was derailed, but none of its passengers were hurt. The Japan Meteorological Agency lifted a tsunami warning on Thursday morning. The magnitude 7. Four quake was in the same area as the one which caused the 2011 Fukushima nuclear disaster, but it was not damaged this time, officials said. In some areas the earthquake was too forceful for people to stand, and buildings rattled in the capital Tokyo. Electricity to more than two. Two million homes was temporarily cut in 14 prefectures, including the Tokyo region, but by mid-morning power had been restored to most places, the local electricity provider said.